Hi, everybody. I'm, I'm Stephanie, and I'm here with Derek, and we are the co-creators of this game. And you're going to hear us going through some of the dynamics, some what the pieces represent, what the cards represent. We've created a universe. We've created a story, a mythology of the game, which is the Cosmic Peace Force, which is a team of friends who are working to de-escalate violence all around the world and, and the cosmos and within ourselves. And we're working with this tension of something called the Disharmony Yuga. And this Harmony Yuga isn't a person, it's a state of consciousness that can freeze our hearts and minds and keep us from being compassionate. In creating this universe, this, this mythology, the challenge was to, to talk about the dynamics of a game without using what we call old story language, where either you win or you lose. Uh, it's all or nothing. This is written on the front of the mission brief, it's that important to us. The terms and concepts in this game will reinforce nonviolent values and they'll take some time to get used to as they challenge the old cultural conditioning that we have around old paradigm game language, such as winning or losing or us versus them. And so we just ask you to practice with us. And when you're done, reflect on how different of an experience this makes this game. So we have a few tips about nonviolence that'll help you in this game. Nonviolence is a force that takes negative, potentially negatively destructive drives like fear and anger and converts them into positive life affirming drives like compassion and love. And Mahatma Gandhi said that nonviolence is the greatest force, the greatest power at the disposal of humankind. And we all have that power inside of us. And this, we hope to unleash that power in this game in some ways. And so here are some tips. Number one, it's important to remember that the person is not the problem. The problem is the problem. In this game, we do not create enemies out of people. Number two, our game is pro-conflict, meaning we understand conflict as an opportunity to learn and grow closer together as a community. We understand in this game that violence can escalate and it can be de-escalated. And the goal of the game is to de-escalate violence. And also nonviolence rewards pro-social behavior, such as cooperation, empathy, and concern for others. And you'll find in this game that these behaviors among your team will help to determine whether or not you succeed in your mission. Number five. Nonviolence is the most powerful force available to humanity. It's more than tactics. It requires us to look inward and transform our negative drives into constructive, life-affirming actions. In playing a lot of board games and a lot of RPG games, sometimes these negative drives could be that I want to be the savior, I want to be the hero, I want to be the center of attention. In a game like Cosmic Peace Force Mission Harmony 3, it could be more about, I want my teammates to be the heroes. I want my teammates to be the center of attention. Number six, one person can make a world of difference when it comes to the practice of nonviolence. Next, seven, everyone has a piece of the truth. When we force our truth onto others, it no longer is truth. Remember this when playing the game. Number eight, everyone has the capacity to practice nonviolence, including you. So if you are wondering, you know, who is this game for? We actually think that it, it is for you and that you'll have a lot of fun. So enjoy. In the game, we have these soul force tokens, which have a beautiful bliss person in the middle. Soul force is the inner power that we draw upon in order to take action. And especially when we're about to enter into conflict. For this game, we need soul force in order to reach harmony three. 
from a game mechanic standpoint, anytime we play a conflict card from our hand or from the board, we have to offer one of our soul forces. We replenish our soul force by choices and chances throughout the game. Be careful to always have at least one soul force token in your pile. If any member of your cosmic peace force has zero tokens, the disharmony yuga prevails, at least for now, and the game is over. Strategy cards. Each strategy card has a symbol on it matching one board dimension. There also happens to be a wild card, which has all of the board dimensions on it. To play one of these cards, you must be in the dimension of the board that matches the card in your hand. And when you play a strategy card, what you do is you draw and play a conflict card. If you achieve the objective of the card, it will allow you to add a heart or remove an ice block from the dimension you're currently playing in. So essentially, you can't play a conflict card unless you are doing conflict strategically. And that means that you have a strategy card that matches the dimension that you're in. And the goal, again, as we mentioned in the previous videos, is that this wants to be pro-conflict. We need to enter into conflict in order to reach Harmony 3. So as many conflict cards as you can play, the better in this game. So strategy cards become really important. Space Lemons. Our greatest lessons in nonviolence often come from our bitter experiences. Some spaces will ask you to draw a space lemon card. These will do things like decrease the petals of the lotus, exhaust your soul force, and post decisions for everyone to make. And the decisions aren't very fun. They're like, do you want to lose a petal or would you rather lose a soul force? So, <laughs> but it still shows that even in our bitter experiences, we can form cooperative bonds and work together and uh, stay hopeful. Conflict cards. We know that conflict is natural and inevitable. Violence is not either of those things. When playing this game, we cannot be conflict avoidant, just like we can't be conflict avoidant in life. It will, it will present itself. We face it head on and it's the only way for us to get to Harmony 3. We've designed a game in such a way that as players, we have the choice to approach conflict from a place of courage, curiosity, fun, and education. We learn when we engage into conflict and whether we successfully de-escalate it or the conflict ends up escalating, we've still learned something through that process. If on playing the conflict card, if it's not resolved and violence has escalated, there, there will be a setback, there will be a consequence. The actions to take when a conflict is de-escalated or escalated are listed on the card. When the game is over, you, let's say the Cosmic Peace Force has succeeded in unlocking four dimensions on the board that allow us to attain Harmony 3 as a group. It's wonderful. And just as any in any movement and any success that we have in nonviolence in our hearts, we need closure. We need to acknowledge. We need to celebrate. And so let's practice doing that and take time as a cosmic peace force to come up with a ceremony, something appropriate, something funny, something meaningful to do. And it's the same thing if the mission doesn't succeed, if we have not reached Harmony 3, we, we say all the lotus petals have, have gone or the, the two dimensions have been frozen shut and the game's over. Well, do we just walk away from the board? No, we, we take hope and we take heart and we come together as a community and maybe have a, you know, go around and everybody say one thing that they learned from the game or they, uh, we come up with a handshake, a, a, so, a, an appropriate coronavirus socially distanced handshake in some way or something, something meaningful to your group.